Hello everyone. Welcome to the Far Infrared Array Sensor presentation. It is divided into three parts. Introduction to FIR technology, PixArt's FIR product line, and FIR applications and demo clips. In this video, let's start with an introduction to FIR technology. Temperature can work as a critical piece of information that shapes our daily lives. Whether it's the temperature of our bodies, the environment around us, or the creatures of the natural world, it is of immense importance. For example, a rise in our body temperature can indicate the onset of illness or fever. In our homes, the temperature of home appliances can let us know if they are working properly or are reaching alarming levels. When air conditioners are on, the indoor temperature can indicate their efficiency and determine whether the airflow is distributed evenly. In addition, monitoring outdoor temperatures at night can help to detect the presence of other organisms or intruders. Here is an overview of the comparison between conventional thermistors and FIR thermopile. Both conventional thermistors and FIR thermopiles are temperature sensing devices. Conventional thermistors use thermally sensitive resistors that change their electrical resistance with temperature variations. This change in resistance is utilized for temperature measurement through direct contact with the object. In contrast, the FIR thermopiles detect and quantify the infrared radiation emitted by an object. The detected radiation's strength correlates with the object's temperature, enabling accurate non-contact temperature measurements. In terms of temperature sensing range, both conventional thermistor and FIR thermopile can essentially cover a range from minus 20 to 380 degrees Celsius. The specific choice depends on the solution required to meet the application requirements. Since most temperature measuring devices, such as thermistors or thermocouples, require direct contact with the target object, this physical measurement approach can limit the thermistor's usage and is prone to delay waiting for the sensor to reach thermal equilibrium, resulting in slower response time. Conversely, the FIR thermopile can respond rapidly to temperature changes in less than 0.5 seconds and accurately acquire the target object's temperature. Conventional thermistors provide raw resistance or voltage values as output, which require additional processing to convert into temperature readings. FIR thermopiles, in contrast, deliver calibrated temperature values in degrees directly without additional calculations on the host side. Conventional thermistors are known for their simplicity, making them relatively easy to install and use in various applications. On the other hand, FIR thermopiles require more complex circuitry and calibration but are essential for high temperature and specialized environments. In summary, conventional thermistors are favored for their ease of development, making them suitable for basic temperature measurements at a lower cost. However, they require direct contact with the object, which can lead to resulting in measurement inaccuracies. While FIR thermopiles provide precise non-contact measurements and are well-suited for high temperature and specialized environments, they come with a higher initial cost and require more complex optical and mechanical design. Now, let's take an electric cooker as an example. A conventional thermistor, which can only measure object temperature through direct contact, has to be placed on the cooker's heating plate underneath the inner pot. The temperature detected from the bottom of the pot is then used to infer the temperature of the food inside. As pot materials and sizes vary, the inferred temperature can significantly deviate from the actual value, leading the cooker to overheat or consume excessive energy. On the other hand, an FIR thermopile can directly measure the temperature of the food without contacting it providing faster and more accurate temperature feedback that can effectively prevent overcooking or energy waste. So, what's the principle behind the FIR application? In general, the radiation wavelength that an object emits is determined by its temperature. 
Thermal radiation is the electromagnetic radiation emitted from an object's temperature. The wavelength of a human body generally falls within approximately 5.6 to 1,000 micrometers, commonly known as the far infrared wavelength range. PixArt's far infrared sensing technology is designed to detect far infrared heat radiation with a wavelength between 5 micrometers to 15 micrometers. By converting the detected energy into temperature through the sensor's powerful built-in algorithm, the FTI.R sensor can contactlessly measure and calibrate the target object's temperature before directly outputting the temperature value in degrees without additional data processing. So thank you for watching this video, and if you are interested to know more about PixArt's FIR array sensor, feel free to reach out to us at pixart.com.